Vinny here with my first installment of my new little series here on YouTube. First thing I want to discuss is the shopping cart myth. Yeah, that right there. Um, maybe it's not a good idea to call it a myth because myths are things that you don't know if it'll actually happen or not. But I'm going to call this a myth anyway because I just I don't understand why it is happening. Um, I don't know if it happens in your state or even your city where you live. But in this hellhole that I've been in for about the past 14 years, it happens here. Um, when you walk into a shopping store, when you walk into a grocery store, the first thing you grab is a shopping cart. But out here, before they grab a shopping cart, what they do is they reach for a box of antibacterial cloths. And they wipe down the handle of that shopping cart. The question I have is, what the fuck? Why do people wipe down the handle of a shopping cart? Do you actually think you're preventing yourself from germs by doing that? Let me ask you this. When you're walking through the store and you go up and down each aisle, you're searching all the items, you're looking, about, you're looking for all the items of what you may want and what you may not want to purchase. Um, when you pick up an item that you want and you put it in your cart, do you stop and think that maybe before you someone has already picked up that item and thought about it and they said you know maybe I don't want this and they put it back do you not think about someone touched that item before you did the same way someone touched that handle before you did take mail for instance okay if you live in California and somebody sends you something from New York City when you when you receive the mail in California do you spray it down with antibacterial you know I mean do you do what you can to prevent the germs on that mail from touching your fingers? No. You know, the hell with the mail and the hell with the items in the store. What about money, people? Okay? When you receive change in a store, do you wipe it down before it's in your hands? Okay? Do you not stop and think about how many people have touched that money before it reached your hands? The money has been in circulation for years. You know, not, not all money, of course, but... When you get changed, look at the year on it, okay? It goes back a long time. Lots of change goes back a long time. Even dollar bills. Look at the year on it. It goes back a very long time. Do you not stop and think that the people who have held that money before it reached your hands and how much germs are on the money, okay? What is the deal of wiping down the shopping cart handle to prevent yourself from getting germs, okay? What about when you're out in public and you're opening a door? You don't spray the door down, you don't wipe the handle bar, you just walk into the store. Okay? What is the deal with wiping down a handle a handlebar in a shopping cart? I've never understood that. Why do you do it? Okay, everything else you touch, you don't wipe down, but for some reason you think you have to wipe down this handlebar to keep your hands clean and prevent yourself from germs. Okay? Some people have told me that I have issues when it comes to that, or you know, I Whatever, that's the whole point I'm doing this. If you think I'm wrong, please let me know. If you agree with me, I'll, that'll help too. But if you think I'm wrong, please let me know and explain to me why people wipe down the handlebar to a shopping cart, but nothing else. You don't wipe down money. You don't wipe down your mail. You don't wipe down all the other items in the store that people have touched. But you know, they, I'm sure they pick it up. Do I want this? No, I don't. Let me put it back. Okay, it's been touched. But for some reason, that handlebar in a shopping cart seems to be the holy grail, and it's going to make people safe and prevent them from germs. Again, if you can, if you can uh, prove me wrong on this theory, please let me know. I'm Vinny, and that's my opinion.